don't tread on me those are words that I stand by, homie It doesn't mean I'm gangster, it doesn't mean I'm country It means that my life is in my hands only I don't have money for security I don't have armed guards that I keep snug around me You don't think I deserve protection like you do And that means you don't give a fuck about me Gated community, that's what you live in Hatred and mutiny, that's what we live in So come down here and hang with us for a minute See if you leave with the same fucking opinion Who's gonna help me out if I get robbed? What if somebody were to beat up my mother? Who's gonna be there to save our lives? You, nah, me, motherfucker Stop it, there and welcome to Mickey Reacts Reviews, reacting to things on the internet. And today we're returning to Samsung. I have been meaning to react to Samsung for a while now. I have his Jan video already downloaded in my phone, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. But he came out with a new video. Finally, it's like been a minute. I feel like he was like spitting him out and then he took a long ass break. Um, he's back and I think right now he is talking about the idea of making more gun laws and keeping law-abiding citizens from being able to use their weapons, their rights to bear arms, to be able to protect themselves and their loved ones, right? There was just that incident that happened where an 80-year-old uh, shopkeeper was about to get robbed and his only protection was his own shotgun. And the guy who was trying to rob him, which is a criminal, had an automatic weapon. I'm pretty sure the criminal probably didn't get that gun lawfully and the store owner who wants to protect his business and his life and the lives around him got his gun lawfully. I'm not sure about that, but most gun laws will be broken by criminals who are committing the crimes, the violent gun crimes. So the only ones that's gonna be getting punished are the ones who will follow the actual laws. I think he might also be hitting on the fact of like defunding the police, whereas most of the celebrities and the 1% and the ones that can't afford their own private security, <clears throat> <clears throat> Patrice from BLM, one of the biggest supporters of not only defunding but abolishing the police. The people that it will affect the most are the ones that are the most vulnerable and the ones who don't want to abolish police or defund the police. Restricting gun rights is going to even hurt people of color more who want to protect themselves. My father lives in a neighborhood where if he calls the police, it takes about a half an hour for them to arrive. So you're basically telling my dad, a black man, an older black man, that he's not allowed to protect himself because of some violent crimes of violent criminals who won't even follow the gun laws in the first place. Anyway guys, we're gonna get back into the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to get the notification when I do upload. Other than that, sit back, relax, and continue to enjoy the video. All right, here we go. I'm the only one that's got my back. It's dog eat dog, these are not no cats. There's cops in Michigan that can't even respond to the calls because the cars ain't got no gas. Great. Police don't have any fuel. You don't know if they'll arrive when you call them. The babies are starving. My girlfriend can't find a tampon, and yet somehow you and I are the problem. Somehow. I've never brought a gun without having my background scanned and approved. The only loophole I've seen on a gun is the one that you put a fucking lanyard through It's not true that you can go to the store And just swipe your card and get a Glock and run It's funny, the people that say that shit Have literally never even shot one The people who think it's super super easy To buy a gun lawfully Are the ones who've never actually purchased A gun themselves The thing is, again, if you make more gun laws And restrictions, and I'm not saying That there shouldn't be a conversation About that, I'm just saying That the people that lawfully get guns you are the only, they're the only ones that's being held back. The criminals. Do you really think that someone who's mentally insane or deranged, a psychopath or a sociopath, who's like, I want to go shoot up a bunch of people. Let me get it. Oh, there's more gun laws. There's restrictions. Okay, I'll, I'll take my time. I'll, I'll do the paperwork. Or they're just going to unlawfully get a gun or unlawfully get whatever weapon that's going to do the most damage. So restricting gun laws or making more gun laws isn't really fixing the problem. A lot of the issues is mental health, first of all. Where that one issue where the guy actually stalked this woman and her two kids and shot through her walls and her doors, his parents said that he had mental health issues, which to me, if your son has such a mental health issue where he is homicidal, why is he out in public? First of all, so a lot of his mental health issues, a lot of his culture, a lot of his upbringing, a lot of his family structure and foundation, a lot of his a lot of things. But if you just tackle that one thing of saying, we're just going to restrict more guns, we're just going to restrict more guns, we're going to just restrict your li rights to bear arms, that's not really fixing the problem. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Let's get back into the song. Dumbass. Hey, Matthew McConaughey. 
Shut the fuck up Just cause you murder people on screen Doesn't mean you know shit about guns You dumb fuck What? You worried about us? What about all of those violent movies that you played? How about you go talk to Alec Baldwin Before you start telling me what to do, okay? I don't really agree The whole idea of like Violent movies create violent people I think mental health issues create violent people Mental, behavioral, psychological or whatever you want to call it If some, like if someone watches a violent movie or sees a violent video game And then they go, I'm going to go shoot people They already had something wrong in their noggin in the first place Maybe that was a trigger, maybe that was an inspiration But there are millions of people every day that watch violent movies Play violent video games and do not go out and commit violent crimes So I don't necessarily agree with that. I'm not saying that violent movies and violent video games is the best for society or the best for culture. I'm just saying I wouldn't be one of those people that goes, we need to get rid of all of this stuff to fix the problem because that's just more citizenship and more restrictions. And guess who's gonna have more control over that? The government. So you can't say you want the government to have less control over individual choices, but pick and choose when you want the government to have more control over individual choices. But anyway, let's continue. You Valdi? I was horrified by it. That's your hometown. You were born right by it. It probably cuts deep, and I hope that it does, because you work in an industry that glorifies violence. It's more your fault than it will ever be mine. The Lord only knows how many crimes that you've influenced throughout your whole career, because I've seen you kill people plenty of times. Yep. What do you think is going to cause a shooting? A YouTube video of a gun review or a Hollywood murder scene that seems so realistic it looks like it's from the news so next time that you want to point your finger with a stupid opinion and chime in with it remember it ain't me that they're trying to be like dog it's you that they're trying to mimic I feel way more safe in a place where the people are legally armed If something happens like a mass shooting, I have a way less chance of being lethally harmed A criminal is gonna think twice if he knows everybody has a piece underneath their clothes And Mayor Lightfoot will probably tell you different, but uh, have you seen Chicago? And no, before you ask, I don't wanna be like Canada either And I don't wanna be like Australia, I'm sick of everybody using them as a humanity meter There's a reason that they can do whatever they want to their citizens Like fucking throw them in camps And there's a reason that our government doesn't even try that shit Cause they know that they can't if you don't think for one split second that if we didn't have our second amendment The government wouldn't overstep its boundaries and make us do shit even when we're against it You're out of your mind I don't give a damn where you stand or how or what you vote That's dandy and fine if you trust Uncle Sam but I for one fucking don't it Stopping it there, I totally agree that one of the reasons why we haven't completely turned to a totalitarian dictatorship yet Because we have guns to protect ourselves again a lot of the pro-abortionists will like to say we're turning into the handmaid's tale but if you watch the first season of the handmaid's tale one of the reasons why they were taken over by that religious extremist group anyway because they didn't have any guns to protect themselves guns all guns rights were completely banned in America in the fictional idea of The Handmaid's Tale, right? If you look at places like Burma, who were being literally gunned down by the military in their, of their own country, had no way to protect themselves but throwing rocks and stones. The same thing with Australia. And the thing is with Australia, a lot of people say that Australia's violent crimes or homicides went down because of gun, gun there's either no gun uh, rights or restricted gun rights. The homicide rate was already going down before all of that. Like, it was already decreasing before they did the whole gun uh, restrictions. And so that, you can't really give the gun restrictions all of the, all of the praise when it comes to that, because it was already decreasing. But anyway, let's continue. Why would I? What have they done? Give me a reason for me to believe them. They want to trade me a little security in exchange for a big ass piece of my freedom. They don't want to take away guns because they care about you and they want to keep you safe at night. They want to take away guns because it's easy to control people if they don't have any way to fight. Hey buddy, what's your little AR-15 going to do when the government comes to take it? Well, Ukraine started handing out rifles to all of the citizens when the Russians invaded. So what about that? I thought it wouldn't help. I guarantee that it'd be better than nothing. I hope it never does, but if the day comes, I bet that you're going to wish that you it's something this is the only country on earth where the people have real strength and nowadays with all the shit going on it's the only thing that makes me feel safe if there's anything that i've learned in the past couple years looking back at the pandemic all of the shit that we have is fragile and it could snap at any second that's true is if, if you haven't learned anything in the last two years is that shit can change you never know what's going to happen that it's fragile that it can last it it can change at any second that your freedoms can be taken away at any moment, that now mandates can be pushed in place at any moment. And I really do believe the moment that America's government finally convinced people to give up their guns, you, you will see the hammer come down. I don't know if it will ever happen. I think 
gun, guns are just too rooted into American culture. Um, and I think in the last few years, we've seen too much evidence of people being just being ran through because they had no way to protect themselves. Like even places like China, where they've literally been locked into their buildings for so long, people are jumping out of windows and they're being starved to death and have no way to fight back against the government because they have no weapons. And so I think we've seen a more evidence of the reason why we should hold on to our rights to bear arms. But if for some reason in the next few generations, because of brainwashing from the school system or indoctrination or influencers telling their fans that we shouldn't have guns or whatever, if they can change the next generation's mind, the moment that that happens is the moment that we probably become more like China in my opinion I'm not trying to fear monger but I'm just saying like I mean we already seen evidence that they will use mandates to take our rights away and the only reason why they didn't those mandates didn't stick is because people were getting upset and antsy and those people had guns I'm just saying but anyway let's continue Fuck all of the politicians, I don't trust anything they say Take the word gun out of gun control and that's all that it is at the end of the day I don't give a fuck how crazy you think that I look or I sound when I say this shit But our second amendment's the only thing that stands between us and a dictatorship And as for the kids, I'm not a security expert, so I won't act like one But I think that if we can send over $50 billion to Ukraine, we could surely spend that much or more or less here in our own country to fortify our schools and make them more secure so that every kid can get an education safe and sound. Place several trained armed guards in every school across America. You know, real men who won't stand by for 45 minutes in the hallway while a shooting unfolds in front of their own eyes and pay them well too. There's veterans that need the work. Why not protect our kids the same way that we protect you? Politicians are protected by guns. Celebrities are protected by guns. Every important person that walks this earth is protected by a gun. But our kids, they're important. Just not as much as you. All right, I don't know if there's any more left, but uh, yeah, I already mentioned this before, the, the people that can afford private security and has bodyguards are the ones that are saying that we don't need guns, we don't need protection, no wall for the country, and defund the police. But I also believe that it, it creates a hierarchy. Right? And we saw the same thing in the last two years when it came to wearing face coverings for the global virus. And we saw it on red carpets. Oh, we better not allow the celebrities to mess up their pretty faces with their pretty makeup done by their expensive makeup artists. And so you saw them with no mask, but the workers, the little minions that had to clean up after the celebrities, they were wearing masks. Where the politicians and celebrities were telling you to stay home, they got to party. They got to go to Mykonos. They got to do, do, do their private little events on the island because they're rich and they're famous and they're important and you're not. And so when you take the guns and the only people that get to have protection are the rich and the famous. It just builds up on creating that hierarchy. I deserve protection because I'm important. And again, within a few generations, that will just make sense to people. I don't have a gun because I'm no one. They need a gun because that's a politician. They need a gun because that's a celebrity. They need protection. I don't need that much protection. The community police will just protect me or oh, whatever, right? Whatever the community therapist they replace the police with. And so, I just think it, it creates a form of hierarchy in importance. But anyway, let's continue. If there's more, I don't know if there's any more. Now, when it comes to the quality of the song, what I think about the song, I think that his bars were good, his cadences were good. I like what he was talking about for the most part. And I like that old black woman gospel background <laughs> vocals that I heard. It was a nice, really, it was a really nice touch. And welcome back, Samson. Um, anyway, guys, tell me what you think of this song, what he said, what I said in the comments section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to get the notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. And if you'd like to support this channel any further, you can donate my PayPal on Cash. 
cash app link is in the description box below and also in the comment section of course it helps but you don't have to you can just like comment and subscribe another great way to support this channel is either join my brand new membership program different levels different tiers different perks or you can visit my brand new merch shop links down below and links to all of the eternal platforms i'm on my socials including my twitter all the ways to support me and all the ways to contact me for business is always in the links down below i also have a second travel vlog channel i travel as a lifestyle i live abroad if you'd like to know where i am in the world you can go to the description box below and also in the comment section hit the link go subscribe to my travel vlog channel and or follow me on my travel instagram my stories is usually what's most up to date and you guys have an amazing day bye